basis, it may not rain more than, say, decades ago. But on an hourly basis, you know, you have vast differences. So it's much more intense, much more local, much more uh, both in time and in space, much more heavy, if you like. How to deal with these peaks, these increasing peaks, this is one of the research issues that we do. Can we temporarily store? Can we avoid flash floods in, in cities? Can we retain the floods for some time and then indeed uh, uh, you know, later on slowly release it? Can we use the excess rainfall to uh, replenish the uh, sub submerged aquifers uh, for groundwater? Uh, these are the issues that we are researching uh, at various places in the world. Population growth, we feel, is a, a major driver. It's the reason why we have these megacities in various deltas around the world growing and growing. And then the water supply for people and the protection level becomes an issue. Uh, so population growth is uh, probably the main driver, also causing uh, climate change. And it's being recognized now. It's been, I would say, uh, noted by researchers decades ago that this could happen, uh, uh, but it's been ignored or seen as natural uh, for some time. Now it's recognized that there are feedback uh, loops and that we have to address the issue one way or the other, whether it's Singapore in an urban environment or whether it's the Netherlands in a, say, a more, more, more polder, lowland uh, rain setting, or the UK for that matter, or the Mekong Delta, which is very similar to the Dutch Delta. It's now worldwide. I would say we, we largely build on the expertise that uh, has been developed and is being developed in the Netherlands, and uh, we tailor it also to uh, other parts of the world. And so we work together with colleagues from Delft University, from Delft Ares uh, Research Institute, from the Dutch government, uh, ministries, uh, public works, environment notably, uh, to come up with solutions that, uh, say, would be applicable in many parts of the world. The research that's being done is, is, I would say, still at the forefront, and there's a large interest uh, in many, many countries to learn from our uh, uh, lessons, say, and our experience, and to take it further and to apply it in their, uh, in their own country, whether it's Vietnam or China, for that matter, or Brazil, or Ecuador, uh, or the United States. <laughs>